hormones, racing pulses, salivation, physical love behaviors. I'm describing how many people feel when they first pick up their new iPhone 6. How I feel when I see the red sole of a new pair of Louboutins. People fall head over heels for a Tesla Model S or a Patek Philippe watch or a stay at the Four Seasons. We're attracted to brands just like we're attracted to people. There are instant attractions and slow seductions and wild flings between buyers and goods and services. And all of this mirrors a meteoric rise in online dating in the 21st century. In the United States alone, there are already 40 million people using online dating. It's a $2 billion industry. Buying is about attraction, and I want to speak to you about the link between online dating and branding. Everything I just said is on hormonal overdrive for millennials. This is a generation with more choice, more connectivity, and greater access to information than ever before. We check our phones more than 50 times a day. On average, we spend more than five hours, actually five and a half hours a day, on some form of social media. More than five and a half hours, guys, it's a lot. And in the United States, 83% of millennials sleep with their mobile phone. Next to them, on, 83%. And we're coming of age in a marketplace more fragmented and more crowded than ever before. With so many brands and sub-brands all competing to woo the same consumers across multiple communication channels, making real, meaningful, intimate connections is more important than ever before and is the key to growth. The word brand is derived from the Old Norse word brander, meaning to burn. It refers to the practice of landowners searing their cattle with their distinctive mark or symbol to distinguish one landowner's cattle from that of another. So, how can a brand sear itself into the hearts and minds of consumers? If not literally, would you date your brand? Would you hook up for one hot night of passion with your product? How can a brand make sure consumers take it home at the end of the night? The marketplace has pheromones for sure. In online dating, three basic laws of attraction are spelled out and can be applied to brands. First, be clear, not coy. Second, give them what they want. And third, get naked with your message. Lesson number one. Be clear, not coy. Real-life dating may be flirtatious, but actually online dating's frank, and consumers expect brands to be frank, too. Take my friend Kate. I live in New York, she lives in New York as well, but she's leaving in a few weeks. In the meantime, she's looking for fun. She's not looking for white picket fences or happily ever after. To be blunt, she wants to hook up. And She's going to be successful, too, not because she's particularly hotter than average, but because she's focused on her goals and pretty explicit. In online dating, you only have a few images and a few sentences to make your initial case. Kate's branding, if you will, would look quite different if she had been looking to settle down, and she had been looking to find long-term love. For example, my friend Tom. Tom is looking for love. He wants to meet the one. And he's going to be very deliberate about the words and images he chooses to make that case. Since he only gets a few pictures on the application he's going to use, he chooses very carefully. One picture with friends to show that he's social, another in an exotic location to show that he loves to travel, a third not-so-arrogant body shot to show that he's in shape, but he's not too egocentric, a selfie, obviously, and finally, a photo with a friend's puppy to show his sensitive side. Tom conveys the essence of his whole message, his whole brand, in just five pictures, clearly 
and deliberately. Brands who struggle to tell the essence of their message in just a few images and few sentences will struggle to attract attention and grow. It's about clarity. Be clear, not coy. Lesson number two, give them what they want. Online dating is as much about math as it is about mystery. Smart online daters have been using statistics to optimize their usernames and profiles. Scientists now find that the most successful online profiles are those that featured content divided 70-30 between a description of themselves and the desired match. Another example. Some research now shows that usernames that start with a letter of the front half of the alphabet are more successful statistically than those that start with a letter from the back half of the alphabet, which I guess makes some sort of sense, given as humans we have a tendency to place a higher emphasis on things at the top of a list. What name you choose is also really important. Research now shows that men are more likely to be drawn to names that feature physical parts, sexy girls, legs forever, brown-eyed girl, whereas women are more likely to be drawn to names that feature character traits, like well-traveled gentlemen. First of all, go ahead, take a second, and be in awe that there are people crunching these statistics. I could have filled a whole presentation just with these statistics. And then think about what these numbers and obsessive data-driven modulation can mean for a brand. It's not by chance that some of the most successful online dating companies were founded by mathematicians. These are companies with sophisticated data collection and analytics departments. And sure, profile content matters, but there's also hidden algorithms at work. Actually, in some cases, not all but some, before any matching starts on survey data, that's the long 100 to 400 question survey you fill in at the start of a, a website, there's an initial matching based on mutual desirability or mutual hotness. That's how many people are spending time looking at your pictures, looking at your profiles. Younger generations are not bothered by this mathematical pattern matching, especially not in online dating. In fact, they're trying to optimize for it, and they expect brands to optimize too, customizing for them intimately, learn from data, increase the analytics, and scientifically make yourself specifically more appealing. Lesson number three, get naked. Many of the more recently launched applications and websites are stripped down to the basics. You only have a few images and a few sentences and maybe a link to your Facebook page to make your initial case. I mean, after all, we are a generation now raised on Twitter's 140 character prose. Brevity is key. One of the most uh, successful online dating applications, especially successful with millennials, has such a simplified interface that all one is required to do is to swipe the screen of their touch phone. Two right swipes make a match, and you can start chatting and meeting up or whatever you want to do. OK, I know by now some of you are probably wondering, especially those not familiar with these applications, who could be so shallow and so looks-based to use such an app? Well, actually, quite a lot of people. Globally, already uh, estimated 60 million people, and the first of these applications only launched at the end of 2012. On applications like uh, Tinder and Hinge and Bumble and JSwipe, users on average spend just two to five seconds reviewing a profile before swiping one way or the other. Two to five seconds. That sounds harsh, but in reality, our cognitive systems are pre-wired to be able to make rapid decisions based on very limited information, which is a good thing. Given as consumers, we are overwhelmed with messages from a variety of communication channels from many, many brands. Imagine how little time a consumer spends assessing the average brand. Consumers spend no time, less than two to five seconds. Companies must be able to communicate their message in two to five seconds. Life is fast. One swipe, and the buy is done. You're in, or you're out. 
Online dating participants have learned to optimize within these confines. Why are so many brands lagging behind? Companies should be able to create online dating profiles for their brands and products. These need to be clear, data-driven, and concise. Imagine being able to distill the essence of any brand, of any product, down to just five images and a few sentences of text. Imagine how simple and shareable and sexy that would be. Think about all the consumers out there, even those not finding love or lust on Tinder or OkCupid, and imagine that they could be pining for and cuddling up with your brand. And tell me that that thought doesn't warm your heart. Thank you.